Hey guys, Handy Camper here, and it's time for part three of my juice into wine, my hobo wine. Uh, it's been exactly two weeks, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to pour off the top and leave the uh, the dead yeast and stuff in the bottom and strain it out and remove all that and rinse out the uh, containers, and then I'm going to put... Uh, the new stuff in here just to hold it while I clean out the new containers and uh, yeah let's see what it looks like here guys oh it smells good there is my mango passion fruit it looks like it's about done it don't work I don't see any more bubbles in that though but you can really see all the dead stuff there in the bottom so hopefully that's what that is dead yeast it's about the same with this one so um, <clears throat> I'm going to pour off the good <clears throat> and then filter out the bad and uh, we'll get back with you in a moment alright guys I poured off the top here uh, the stuff that, that doesn't have any of the uh, dead yeast in there and now I'm going to filter the rest out here so any of that yeast that was on top, I guess, will uh, still continue to work. This might take a while. Possibly. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, filter the rest of this out, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, I'm continuing to filter the rest of this out. I don't have much more to go, and then I'll probably just dump the rest of that because it's uh, really cloudy and gooky. So I'll probably uh, I'll filter just a little bit more of that out into here, and then uh, I'll do the same with the grape, and then I'll get me a couple little taste tester cups of each one, and... Uh, We'll give it a shot and see what it tastes like and what i'm going to do i'm just putting it in these containers just to hold it i'm going to wash these out really good and then i'm going to put it back in here and whatever yeast is left uh let it continue to work and get a little stronger i think uh, that's what i've heard so uh, i might continue to let it work or i and uh and see if it works anymore if not i'll just bottle it back up and uh, put it in the refrigerator if it's any good we'll find out soon enough as I'm finishing filtering out the uh, the grape here boy that smells good and as I'm pouring it in you can see it's uh, like it still uh, would be able to work a little bit longer I can see it bubbling up there so uh, when I get all of it poured in here and rinse all these out really good and put it back in here I'll give them another shake and see how long they'll let them work a little bit longer too if, if it tastes good if it don't taste good they're just getting trashed so uh we'll get back with these soon i'm going to uh make me a little sample cup of each flavor so i can try it out and uh i got my little ipad set up there on my new little stand that i made getting ready to have a video on that coming out um and i'm gonna go live and do a little live taste test so you guys can see my live reaction to this uh, two weeks in the making. So uh, we'll get back with you in just a moment. Hey guys, Handy Camper here. And we've got the wine after two weeks. We're going to do a live wine taste testing right now. And uh, I'm going to try it out and uh, as we do the video as well. So, uh, let a few people come in and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Stick around. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. I gotta take another one to taste of that. Anyway, uh, on the camera here, I just tried the grape live, guys, and, uh, the grape is very, very tasty indeed. And I just took my first little sip of the mango passion fruit, and it kind of tastes like Elmer's glue and feet. Um, I don't think that's supposed to taste like that. Um, uh, I, I'm going to give that another shot just to see. Uh... 
<laughs> well, maybe one more. I got. I'm gonna have to do a little taste switch around with that one. <laughs> oh gosh, no to the mango passion fruit. No to the mango passion fruit. Uh, if anybody would like the mango passion fruit, send me your mailing address. And I'll send it right to you. <laughs> no, just kidding. Oh my gosh, man. One more time, just for the just for poops and giggles. It almost tastes like a sour wine cooler, if that makes any any sense. Um, like a non-sweet, like if it was a sugar-free wine cooler. There you go, without any sweetener. You know what I mean? Kind of like uh, sugar-free tea or unsweetened tea. That's what it kind of tastes like. Unsweetened feet. <laughs> oh gosh, that's nasty. Man, that is nasty, guys. Mm, mm. Uh, let's get everybody here. Doing live there. Say hi, everybody. You'll be in the video. Type a message. You'll be in my video. <laughs> Anyway, that was totally nasty. Dan's Urban Survival and Prepping. Hey, how's it going, Dan? Just trying out some uh, some uh, juice that I was turning into wine and trying it out. And uh, the uh, mango passion fruit, no good, no good. Now, I mean, uh, somebody with different taste uh, might like it, I guess. Of course, the more you drink, the better it gets, right? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Absolutely wrong. Yeah, it's kind of... It's very strange to, uh, to try strawberry. Yeah, I knew to try strawberry. <clears throat> that sounds like strawberry would be really good. I wish I had some raisins to try to put into the grape and let it work a little bit longer. That, that grape actually turns out really good. Turned out really good. I mean, it actually tastes like you opened up a bottle of wine and... Except it's a little bit darker, right? <laughs> a lot cloudier there. So if uh, you guys don't see me for a couple of days, I'll probably be on the toilet. If anybody wants to send me any wipes or anything to help out, it would be great. <laughs> Alright, guys. I've got the uh, original containers cleaned out, sterilized, hot water. And... Uh, I'm going to pour the uh, liquid back into these, put them back in the bucket, put them back in the closet for another uh, week or two, and then we'll, uh, we'll pull them out again, taste it, and uh, see if there's anything, any change. All right, guys, uh, I, I really appreciate you tuning in here and uh, watching the uh, wine taste testing, so uh, stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Andy out.